ballroom to me is like a, a chosen family. Like some people say blood is thicker than water, but, but I feel like the people who witness your existence, that's your true family. People who are of the LGBTQ community, they don't necessarily always have a place to have an outlet to express themselves. And I think that being that ballroom, at one point being an underground type of thing, and now being such a mainstream thing, it's kind of pushed everyone to be so much out of their comfort zones. And it's made people express themselves in ways that they couldn't because they're around people that they can relate to. And they're around people that go through the same struggles that they go through. So that's why balls are important because you're in the same room with a whole bunch of people just like yourselves that may not look like you, but they have experienced the same amount of things that you've experienced in your life. Okay, so what I love about ballroom is because it is a form of self-expression. So it's like every category came from the original category, which was realness or the mothers. Like it, originally, the houses used to support their mothers. So it was all about getting your mother ready, almost like the pageantry system. So it was like your family builds around the mother and the mother is the pretty much the ball. Like how she shuts down the stage is what it's all about. So the ballroom scene, it embraces the sacred divine feminine intertwined with the sacred divine masculine. It is confidence, it is beauty, it is everything that is divinely authentic and powerful. It truly is spirituality because it's compassion, it is passion energy that brings that compassion towards each other and that is spirituality in its authenticity. Ever since I've joined the House of Labesia, everything's kind of been somewhat bar related or ballroom related and I haven't been able to escape it and it's something that I love so I'm not complaining about it. But yes, like I would walk in the street and I'll just, you know, like play a beat in my on my phone and then like I'll just start roping in my head. Just start like Damn, like I would, you know, like I would just start, I would do that. Or like I'll be in the, uh, the train, I'm waiting for a train that's coming in 20 minutes and I'm just voguing in my head because I listen to a fast beat. Or I hear something at a club and I'm with my friends and we just form a circle and we're, we're voguing. So that's how, I don't know, like I guess that's how I would bring ballroom into my life, yeah. It's that balance of that ferocity with its softness, soft and cunt, as they say. And the ballroom scene definitely does invigorate that all the more. In order for you to win in the battles, you need to be fierce. You need to give that bitch attitude like, darling, it is me and I am fierce. I am fabulous. I am divine. That is the energy that's so important to be conjured up that the ballroom scene really pushes one into. There is a lot of conflict in ballroom and I hate to say that, but it is. And there's a lot of underground shade that people don't necessarily see on the outside in. And that's something that you have to deal with. And this ballroom is really based on politics. Who's the hottest girl? Who's the newest girl? Are we really gonna let the newest girl beat the hottest girl? This girl's been turning it for five years, 10 years in her category. This one just came in and he's two months in, three months in. He's cute and he's doing his thing, but if they battle, are we gonna let this one pick this, you know, be picked over this one? No. Ballroom has like really expanded and you know, it's such an honor to be here in this time to see that, you know, um, because it just shows where our talent has went, you know, as a whole. In the next 10 years, I would love Ballroom to be global. In third world countries too, where it is accepted, where everyone is free to be a more confident, divinely intertwined masculine and feminine individuals. That is what the Ballroom scene brings about. Confidence, attitude, sass and elegance and couture, fabulosity. It is everything and more. And it would be an honor, a dream to see Ballroom really transcend. This is Obiani Labeja and you are watching BET Queer as